Howdy ladies and gentlemen, this is Jerry with Texas Veggie Garden. In this episode we'll be looking at how to pick or harvest black eyed peas. It's pretty easy so let's go ahead and get started. So right behind me as you can tell I have a trellis, two trellises with black eyed peas on them. I have a few peas on the trellis itself but I also have a whole bunch uh, lower. Now there's going to be uh, different stages of the pea. You have, they start off green and then eventually they'll turn to a brown color and they'll be more dry and we're going to be looking for the brown ones. So let's go ahead and go over here and uh, take a look see if we can't find some uh, brown pods to, to um, harvest and uh, go inside and separate the peas from the pod. So as you can see I have a bunch of plants here. They have uh, pea pods on them and as you'll notice some of them are brown like this one and then uh, some of them are going to be green like this. The brown ones are ready to pick. They're dry on the outside and they're going to be easy to separate the pod from the pea. Now the green ones, they're not ready yet. We're not going to pick those yet. They're still moist so if you do pull them uh, out of the garden you can separate them and use them however it's going to be a lot more difficult than using the dried ones and some of them might not be totally ready either so we're going to go ahead and find the brown ones pick all those go inside and then begin separating the pod from the uh, seeds so all you have to do is pull them off like that and then uh, put them in a bucket you get a whole bunch of them here now I will go ahead and pick the uh, one of the green ones here just so you can see what it looks like inside and how much more difficult it is to uh, to separate the pod from the uh, pea so as you can tell the difference in color the green one and the brown one. Okay, we're inside now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, separate the pods from the pea. So as you can tell, I picked about I don't know, maybe 50 pods. And as you, you can tell by that, that crunch, they're really dry. I did pick that one green one to show that it's not ready yet. So I'll go ahead and show you that one first. So in order to um, get the peas out, we're going to go ahead and take it and we're going to split this pod in half. So as you can tell as I'm splitting this pod, um, see there's still kind of green in there. It's hard to get it, get it apart. It's still wet. So you don't want to pick them like this. You want to wait till they dry out. So the bean it's still kind of green. I don't know if you can see that or not. But as you can tell, it's really moist. A lot of moisture in there. And it's hard to uh, get it out because it sticks. The peas will be sticking to the pod. And it's, it's really hard to, uh, to separate them. But you can do it, but I don't recommend it. So as you can tell, those are really green right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to correctly do it. So I'll take one of these. As you can tell, it's brown. As you can tell, it's got a little bit of a crisp thing, crisp uh, sound to it. Go ahead and uh, take it at the beginning, just pop it open, and it'll just start to fall out. So it's dry, it's really easy. So there's the pods, and there is your beans. As you can tell, the beans. Or sorry, the, the peas are not green. They're going to be more of a white um, tan color. So, and once you do that, you're going to put them on a plate with a napkin to let them dry out completely. They're already dry, but we want to dry them out completely. So we'll go ahead and put them on this uh, plate napkin for a few days, let them dry out, and then we're going to put them in our mason jar for storage.
All right, so I have my dried pot here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So you're gonna take the very top or bottom, go ahead and pinch off it, pinch it off, tear it off. Then you wanna open it up. Once you get it open, you're gonna go ahead and uh, put uh, a few fingers below, grab the top part of it, and push down with this thumb, and it's just gonna open up just like this. So there you go, see how easy that was? Very easy when it's dry. So I just completed taking the pot, the peas out of the pods. As you can tell, I have a bunch of peas right here. All the leftover pods over here. So I'll go ahead and put those in the compost. And I'm going to let these dry for a few days. And then I'll go ahead and put those in the mason jar. So as you can tell, the difference between the peas that are not ready, they're going to be green like that. They're going to be also bigger because they're full of water. And the ones that are ready, they're going to be dry and they're going to be whitish tan. So if I try to squeeze the ones that are done, obviously they're hard. They're not going to do anything. Now if I take the one that is not ready to be harvested, squeeze it. Ugh. So let's see. Squeeze it. It's going to fall apart in my hand. So that's the difference. Okay, so these I did a few uh, weeks ago. As you can tell, I put them in the mason jar. And uh, so they should be dry enough not to put anything in there, any um, paper towel or anything like that. So I'll try to fill up this whole jar with black eyed peas and have them throughout the year. I've never known when to shut up 